we can use Faithlight's Proclaim software in order to trigger our light chart automatically to go along with the cues we already are using for the slides in our church service or other event. Here's how. We're going to use a few simple tools. First, we're going to use Proclaim. It will send a MIDI trigger out through a program called Loop MIDI to a program called Show Cockpit, which will then communicate with the light shark. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set it up. First, Proclaim. I've launched Proclaim in Loop MIDI, and in Loop MIDI, I've pressed the plus here to add a new Loop MIDI port, which I've left with the default name. Now, I go to an item in Proclaim that I want to assign a trigger to. I press Add Signal, I go to Lighting, and Settings. Then I add a scene. I'll call this one Playback 1, because we're going to use it to trigger Playback 1 of the Light Shark. Then we add control, choose MIDI, choose the loop MIDI port, add note. I'm going to leave these settings at their default for this one, using the first note, C minus two, as the MIDI note. Let's go ahead and create a new MIDI note. I'm gonna press add scene, call it playback two, add a control MIDI, Loop MIDI port add note. This time I will change it to the first note. I like to go in order just to keep things nice and organized. You can always press preview and you should see it happening in Loop MIDI. You'll see it come up on the total data and the throughput per second. Press save. Now we'll go ahead, we'll add our signals. So maybe my pre-service loop is going to trigger playback one and my first song is going to trigger playback two. For this, I'm going to choose to not fire it for each slide, but just to fire it once at the top of the song. Now, if I go into preview, I can fire and see the throughput on loop MIDI. This is key. I'll go back into edit mode for a minute. Now, we're going to launch the program Show Cockpit which allows us to connect these two devices without any USB to MIDI adapters or anything like that. It's all going to happen on our network. We'll press new, and I'm gonna call this project Proclaim. Now we press add, and we're going to go to external control. We're gonna add MIDI, generic MIDI, and title that Proclaim. And then we're also going to add external control OSC, generic OSC, and label that light shark. First, let's set up Proclaim. We'll set the input device to the loop MIDI port. We don't need an output device, and we can turn off the motorized faders. We'll turn on Proclaim. We'll go to open window, and then we'll enable learn and make sure that we're on the buttons screen. Back to Proclaim, we'll enable Preview, and we'll fire any slide that's going to trigger a MIDI note. Now, we see them appear here in Show Cockpit. We can turn off Learn and then name each button. So this will be Welcome Slides. And then my second button, the MIDI command from Proclaim, will be Amazing Grace. You can name these whatever you'd like as it corresponds to the triggers you'll be sending for your particular service. Now we'll go back to Elements and we'll go to Light Shark. The settings for this will be simple as well. The IP address is going to be the IP address of your Light Shark console. Your outgoing port by default in the Light Shark is 8000, and your incoming port by default in the Light Shark is 9,000, so that's what I'm going to set them to here. Then let's go over to the Light Shark and set up the OSC there. In the Light Shark, we'll go up to the menu and into the main menu. Over to MIDI and OSC, we'll ensure that OSC is enabled, that the incoming port is 8,000, which is the default, and the outgoing port is 9,000. 
So the incoming port in the light shark will match up with the outgoing port from our computer, from show cockpit. We'll leave it in UDP mode as well. Now, we'll turn on the light shark and open our window. We want to go to outputs, and then we're going to type our first OSC address. So I'm going to name that playback one, because that's what it's going to trigger. My OSC address then is going to be out of the user manual for the light shark. In this case, it's going to be slash ls slash go slash pb slash my number. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste that so I can use it multiple times. The minimum and maximum are going to be zero as well as value index. And we want button to be selected. Now I'm going to add playback too. So I've just pasted, changed the number, set everything else to match, and I'm good to go. There is a full outline of all the OSC functions that you can use in the Light Shark manual. Be sure to check that out and follow it as you create your mapping. Now, back to elements. We now have both of these on. And so if we fire a slide out of Proclaim, we'll see that it triggers the event here in Show Cockpit. Awesome. Now we need to connect the two together. We'll do that on the mapping screen. We'll pick a function, Light Shark. And as we can see, I didn't name my second playback. That's okay. Now we'll go here in Light Shark and select playback one and assign that to the welcome slides. Playback 2 will assign to Amazing Grace. Now, if we go to Elements, we can see if we fire that welcome slide, we see the control event also fire when I fire the slide from Proclaim. And then it sends a trigger to the Light Shark. When I do that on the Light Shark, I can see that by triggering the first slide in Proclaim, it's making my queue go forward in the Light Shark. Let me show you on the queue list view. Meanwhile, when I trigger Amazing Grace, I now get the first queue of Amazing Grace when I trigger the slide from the Light Shark. Because this queue list only has one slide, no matter how many times I trigger it, it's going to stay on the same look. The way that you lay out your Light Shark may vary a little, but ultimately, you're able to use this guide in order to trigger the Light Shark using OSC through Proclaim. Use it to automate your service so that you're able to have a smoother and more consistent service from week to week while still being able to create great lighting with your light shark.